Hi there. Welcome to Electrical Terminology. Being literate in the language of electricity is just as important as understanding the theory and application of electricity. You've seen all of the terms that are on the screen right now. We're going to review the units and the symbols for each one of them. Let's start with electrical charge. The unit of charge is the Coulomb. Q is the symbol for charge. C is the symbol for Coulomb. In a sentence, you would say the charge is 5 Coulombs. Or you can write it as Q equals 5C. Next is voltage. The unit for voltage is the volt. E or V is the symbol for voltage. V is the symbol for volts. You could say the voltage across the load is 5 volts. Or you could write it as E equals 5V or V equals 5V. Either or. Current is our next quantity. The unit for current is the ampere or amp. I is the symbol for current. A is the symbol for amps. In a sentence, you could say the current through the resistor is 5 milliamps. Or I equals 5 MA. Usually, when expressing voltage or current, you would say the voltage across or the current through a component. For resistance, the unit is ohms. R is the symbol for resistance. The Greek letter omega is the symbol for ohms. In a sentence, you could say the resistance of the load is 470 ohms, or R equals 470 ohms. Just as we said the voltage across or the current through, you would say the resistance of a component. When talking about power, the unit that we use is watts. P is the symbol for power. W is the symbol for watts. In a sentence, you could say the power dissipated by the light bulb is 40 watts, or P equals 40 W. Moving on to inductance, the Henry is the unit for inductance. L is the symbol for inductance, and H is the symbol for Henry's. Please note that the plural of Henry's just has an S at the end, and we don't convert the Y to an IE. When expressing this in a sentence, we would say the inductance of the coil is 10 Henry's, or we could write L equals 10 H. The last quantity we're going to discuss is capacitance. The unit that we use is the farad. C is the symbol for capacitance. F is the symbol for farads. We would say the capacitance of the capacitor is 47 microfarads. Or we could write C equals 47 Greek letter mu F. I want to take a minute to discuss subscript notation. If you want to be fully literate in the language of electricity, you must understand how to use subscript notation when expressing yourself. For example, we have three resistances in this circuit plus a total resistance. We can identify each one just by using subscript notation. If we want to write that the total resistance is the sum of all three resistors, we could express that as RT equals R1 plus R2 plus R3. The T, the 1, 2, and 3 are all subscript next to the R's, so we know which resistor we're speaking of each time. By using subscript notation, we can express any quantity for any component. For example, for R1, we could express voltage, current, and power just by writing VR1, IR1, or PR1 with R1 
in subscript. To express totals for any circuit, we could write VT, IT, RT, or PT with the T as subscript. Ensure when using subscript notation that your letter is smaller and is actually dropped into the subscript position. Before I release you back to your life, I want to review Ohm's Law. Ohm's Law is the most important and fundamental law of electricity. It states, the current in a circuit is proportional to the voltage applied to that circuit and inversely proportional to its resistance. And it's given as the formula I equals V over R. I can't emphasize enough how important it is for you to understand and remember Ohm's Law if you want to pursue an education and a career in electricity. Ohm's Law is not about life and death. It's much bigger than that. <laughs> I want to thank you for watching and good luck with your electrical studies.